What's up, Fit Fam? Coach Rye from Team Flex. Today we're going to talk about Issa versus Issa. Her physique from the Arnold uh, to former physique at Olympia. Okay, what changed? What was different? Uh, what resulted in some placing differences? And kind of what does she need to do moving forward to continue to place uh, as high as she is and possibly eventually? dethroned Francielli, right? Because she was only a one-point score um, difference at Olympia, so it would definitely be interesting to see. However, that gap between points from the Arnold is going to be a bit different, and I'll tell you guys why in just a second. But I know a lot of people have questions about this, so I want to really cover this and show you. And this is what we do on this channel. We break things down. So uh, if you have any you know, uh, comments, things you want me to do, other videos I want you want me to break down, other topics, comment them down below and let me know. Make sure you're subscribed and I will do those videos, you guys, all right? Let's dive in. So, uh, here's Issa at the Arnold, um, Olympia, obviously, okay? This has just happened not too long ago, and then we have her over here at Arnold Classic, okay? So, she still took second to Fran Cielli, but uh, a lot of people, you know, thought that maybe this was the time Issa would come up and win, because it was a one-point split difference, you know, at uh, Olympia. However, she did not come in as expected, you know, to the point where there was definitely a distance in physique placings um, and points wise as far as it goes for that gap and Francielli really she came in and stomped it so if you didn't watch the Fran videos go watch those they got them on the channel and I did an overview of the Arnold too but let's talk specifically about Issa okay so again looking at Issa she's still a great competitor she has a lot of you know really good markers that make her a wellness athlete okay so we'll see still the shoulder development she has it in both uh, you know competitions here she's still got good taper to the waist everything here but this is where things Things started changing so her physique coming into the Arnold was much much softer okay and much heavier much you know overall just a thicker looking uh, look for her so she definitely missed her mark as far as conditioning goes as far as body fat goes and also probably muscle to a degree I think really what happened was she was within that one point split at um obviously Olympia and she thought okay well if I add a little bit more size I'll edge out Francielli and you know she added size but it did, did not favor her because she wasn't able to actually you know really bring that size to show for the judges and did not meet her condition so it's kind of hard to say really where she would have you know placed had she done that but it did not happen as you can see her waist looks quite a bit thicker here um, at the Arnold versus what it did at Olympia and of course also we can see that the lower body just doesn't look anything like it did at Olympia you know she's got a very very soft line here almost virtually no line in the glute to quads um, and you can just see a lot of size a lot more mass here but it's a lot more body fat also over here we got some you know the lines judges want to see we can see her upper glute much better we can see the overall glute development better so really she kind of added too much just too much size overall I think to her lower body and also did not come in conditioned enough and that's pretty present everywhere you can see that in the abs her midsection is not as tight as it normally is and overall it was a softer look and I know some of you guys actually preferred that look so if you're one of those people that really like the softer Issa comment that down below let me know do you think it's better that the wellness direction you know trends in this kind of current a little bit harder condition or do you think that you know bringing softer look to wellness is actually better I want to know comment it down below um, but okay let's look at her back pose now and this is where again you can really just see the massive differences in what happened um, and you know the poses aren't locked in exactly and sync but it's just fine because we see the same thing we're really looking at lower body here upper body for her is pretty on par lower body wise though I mean much better glute shape we're going to see to a lot more upper glute here you know than we do at Arnold a lot more um, you know overall just just a lot more of the better depth of the glute better tie-in better overall symmetry you know we look over here at Arnold Classic and this is a lot m less of that look right we're going to see you know it looks like she has bigger glutes but they're not conditioned they're not brought in at the right space she's got a you know a soft tie-in zone but it's nothing like it was at olympia and again you know the size the overall size of her lower body is really just pushing that limit to the point where this is not you know the most ideal look for her um it's too big in the qual i mean it's it's just thrown off so again she's still got a great physique still took second here i think the gap definitely was you know widened between her and francielli though i don't think unless she comes in much more conditioned next time and actually 
brings this muscle in in a better condition frame way that she's going to end up actually being able to beat her. So this conditioning was just off for her um, and a little bit too much size down low. So remember, wellness athletes out there, no matter what level you're competing, you do not want to sacrifice conditioning for size. And this happens a lot. You know, a lot of the wellness athletes are looking like mass monsters these days, but they're the ones coming out that are not placing well. Okay. They're not the ones even in Issa's spot where she's taking second and, you know, still great physique, still great representation of wellness. The top one and two at Olympian Arnold are very easy for us to look at and say, yes, that's a great physique that is on par. I'm simply telling you guys why she didn't edge out Francielli. And this is why, you know, she needed better conditioning and to really bring in that muscle just a little bit more visible. I mean, you know, judges probably can't even see if she's made improvements since the last time she was on stage at Olympia because she has too much body fat at this point. So again, a softer look for wellness that some prefer um, and some would agree is not the ideal look. Uh, I mean, it's hard to look at Issa's physique from Olympia to Arnold and say that the Arnold is better in my opinion. It could be better though if she can really restructure that muscle a bit and bring in that condition. So again, you know, just something to be aware of all of you wellness athletes out there if you're trying to compete and you want to do your best you want to do top notch you got to be bringing that in just right okay so yeah you guys let me know what other stuff you want me to cover we'll pop some other athletes up here i'll keep giving you criteria it's what we do on this channel obviously i'm a coach and i coach you know wellness athletes around the world but i like doing this content for you guys to give you more insight more in you know stuff you can take with you and more things you can use to get better on stage and off it so that's what we do on this channel all right you guys thanks for watching coach rye is out